October the 14th, 1066, Caldbeck Hill, north of Hastings in England. This land is ruled by King Harold Godwinson, the latest in a line of Anglo-Saxon kings. But Duke William of Normandy has a claim to the throne too. Years ago, Harold is said to have sworn to help the Duke to the throne of England, but he has failed to honor his oath, and now he rules as king. But the throne on which Harold sits is not a comfortable one, and Duke William's invasion is fortunately timed. Even now, Harold marches south from battle at Stamford Bridge near York, having crushed another invasion led by Harald Hardrada of Norway. Duke William was able to land unopposed, but now his scouts report that Harald's army is in sight and has formed a shield wall on a ridge crossing the Normans' road. The position is a strong one, at the top of a gentle slope flanked by marshy ground, and the enemy appear happy to let the Normans come to them. The Duke has come well prepared for battle, and has many war-hardened infantry and horsemen. But if his men cannot overcome the enemy shield wall, they will have little choice but to negotiate terms or starve. Duke William of Normandy is no stranger to war, though. He knows that if there is no way around or through Harold's shield wall, he will have to find a way to pick it apart. The Anglo-Saxons are known for their fearlessness in battle, but perhaps William can use this to lure them from their position so that his horsemen can finish them off. The two forces are evenly balanced. But there are only two paths from this place for Duke William, to the grave or through the shield wall and onwards to the throne of England. Archers. The Huskars on the enemy flanks are commanded by Harold's brothers. Killing them will disrupt our enemy's command structure. Launch an assault against them and cut them down. Harold's brother, Gerth, has been butchered, weakening discipline on the Saxon left. Attack the troops there, then retreat to tempt the fools from their shield wall.
No mercy! To kill or to die Red in the only with choices. Saxon blood! Something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Force remains. King lies dead, slain! For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. God be praised! The false King Harold has been cut down and lies dead upon the field. Many of his men flee before us. The Huskals, though, are honoring their oaths the to the enemy are badly bloodied, on, even they to last the half their men. Give them the warriors' deaths they crave! is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. <laughs> 